I would estimate there'd be between 10 and 20,000. There is a lot of gnomes here. Some are up the trees, some are down the trees. <laughs> They're everywhere. I would say there's probably 15,000 gnomes there. And we've recently given away a lot of gnomes to another community that wants to start a gnomesville. <laughs> Silly people. Well, we think there's about 10,000 at the moment. Um, we actually have permission to do a Guinness Book of Records count, to, to actually count them, because at the moment the record for the most gnomes or pixies in one location is about 2,000 in England somewhere, which yeah, this just kills that. So it's on the intersection of uh, Wellington Mill Road and Ferguson Road um, in the Shire of Dardanup, which is about a half an hour out the back of Bunbury and two hours south of Perth. We've got gnomes here from all over the world. There's gnomes that are from, you know, um, through South Africa and Asia and different gnomes that people have brought with them um, to put here. So it just does me head in. It amazes me, you know, the, the length that people will go to to bring their gnome. I've been here and people have brought suitcases of them, so unbelievable stuff happens here at Tolham. So <laughs> I keep away because it's just, uh, just too many little people. It's funny, people either love it or get really freaked out like there are just too many eyes looking at me and I don't know why. There's the bussing gnomes who like to travel. Um, we have the garden gnomes who are here for a while but then wander off because garden gnomes are prone to wandering. Um, our forest gnomes stay where they are, so the original gnomes are the forest gnomes. So there's, there's several different communities. You'll never see the pixies or the fairies or the trolls because they are deeper in the forest. Through time, I have been um, force-fed gnome history. The um, gnome women always give birth to twins. They can live to be about 3,000 years old. Uh, gnomes are supposedly seven times stronger than we are. They're a social community. They only have two or three dreaded um, enemies, one of which, according to mythology, is called a snot gurgle. It's a gross-looking creature which is huge, overweight, amazingly hairy, and drips mucus from every orifice of its body. Now, snot gurgles are not very nice because they will actually kill gnomes. Whereas trolls, you know, the ones that like to live under bridges and cause all sorts of mischief, they will torture gnomes, but they, they very rarely kill a gnome, unless the gnome is nervous and dies during the, the torture. So that's a little bit of the history that I, I know about gnomes. What I love is to this day, no one has actually confessed to putting out the first gnome. So no one knows how it actually started. On this intersection, there was a tiny little school bus accident. No one got hurt. It was just a little fender bender between a school bus and a car. And so the Shire decided that they'd build the roundabout that's here. Now, without Gnomesville, this intersection would see three cars a day. It's in the middle of nowhere, really. Um, anyway, so the locals, when the, they started to build the roundabout, hated it. The locals and the ratepayers um, protested um, because it was a lot of expense there. And then people in, a, in their protests started putting um, figures into the, the centre of the roundabout. When the roundabout got finished, it became the Gnomes Oval. And they painted, put football posts in the roundabout, and painted them in jerseys. And every night the players would change and the scoreboard would change and new spectators would come. It says an awful lot about the people who live around here. <laughs> so it was a cutesy pie thing, uh, but then more and more Gnomes just kept coming. And so eventually, as a community, we actually had a survey and we asked everyone what they thought about Gnomesville. Should we get rid of it and should we, you know, completely quit it? And anyway, the survey results came back and everyone in the valley said, no, let's keep it. And that's when we moved it from the roundabout to the side. But then over time, the general public have embraced it and we just have more gnomes than we can handle now. And they're invading private property. One of the landowners made a gnome detention centre um, and even that got so filled up with, she kept putting gnomes that she found on her property in detention. We intend to put a bridge across the, the river there and get that because that's an old rail reserve. Um, and if you have a look, there's some having trouble swimming here at the moment. We haven't wanted to be policemen, we haven't wanted to do this. is an enjoyable area. Love it and leave it, but don't mess it up is kind of how you, how you put it. It seems to be the invasion of the Noman Empire. There's nothing we can do about it. They're making a short film on me now because they've, they've realised they've got this crazy batshit woman who's full of so many stories. Now Rex is the king of the gnomes. He's about um, uh, 1,565 years old now, I think, or around that. 
I used to respond to the letters that were put in the, the, the little box down at Gnomesville, but that, that was getting vandalised and we were getting obscene letters rather than cute letters. But if people send a letter to the post office, to Rex Gnome, Rex will respond, yes. Rex's secretary will respond, and that would be me, yes. Oh, here's the letter. So it says, Gnomesville, knock, knock. Now, I would imagine one would have to say who's there, but no, it just says, Gnomes live here. It's okay to have a busted up tramp like Snow White living here, who gnomes she can given can be given STDs too. Thanks, all thanks. I, this, is a, this is a misnomer. Gnomes do not have any sexually transmitted diseases. None at all. They're immune. Emma and Mandy Gardner steal gnomes from here all the time. Emma is a crack whore stealing bitch. Well, this is one of the reasons why we stopped receiving letters from Gnomesville, but I'm certain that Emma has seen the... the, 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 the um, problem in the way that she's behaving and the gnome curse for someone who steals gnomes, Emma, and it's probably happened already, your big toe has turned black and it won't go back to being normal until you make some kind of amends. Naughty Emma! It's just unique. If you came along here and you had, and driving past here and you stopped and you came in and you said, this is bullshit. Who does this? You know what, people do this, but they do. So I think that's what I like about it. It's just different, unusual, and spectacular in the way it, it, it comes across to you. It, I just love it that it is, it's a community thing. It's, the people have just embraced it from, like I say, all over the world. And it just is here to make people smile. And that's a great thing. I think there should be more of that.